People of crypto, there's a monster coming for us. An oogie boogie, if you will. A creature with claws and talons, possibly with fangs, with a weird hair. Frightening, disgusting, a considerable monster. Just hear me out here. There is something very creepy, very disturbing about the monster that's coming for us in crypto. Now, before we get into this, if you like this content, because there is a savior. I'm going to tell you who that savior is. But if you like this content, please make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. And we can keep covering this kind of stuff all of the time. But that monster has a name. And that monster's name is Elizabeth Pocahontas Warren. If you're not familiar with Elizabeth Warren, Elizabeth Warren is a senator from Massachusetts. She's a Democrat. And she lied to people in order to get her college degree by saying that she was a Native American, a situation that was debunked pre previously and that she apologized for. In 2016, during the course of the primaries, she refused to stop accepting money from special interest groups uh, like her uh, opponent, Bernie Sanders, choosing instead to take money from those special interests because, of course, of course. As of today, uh, Elizabeth Pocahontas Warren has a... Um, net worth of $87 million based on an income of $280,000 as a senator. And she's been a senator for about eight years. How is that even possible? You might be asking yourself. I don't know the answer to that other than corruption is absolute. Now, can I point out specifics to say that Liz Warren is absolutely corrupt? Can I point out any specific situation? I cannot. I don't have one. All I can do is hyperbole, but that brings me to a hero that we need. And that hero, that's John Deaton. John Deaton is a cryptocurrency advocate and a crypto attorney. Now, an article was just released on Politico, and uh, it says that John Deaton, a Detroit native, launched his Senate campaign on Tuesday to continue my life's mission to shake things up for the people who need it the most, he said in a video announcing his bid. I encourage you to go check out that video. Elizabeth Warren, while she promised to be a champion for those in need, instead she gives lectures and plays politics and gets nothing done for Massachusetts. Just ask for a list of accomplishments. Just ask for a list of Elizabeth Warren specific accomplishments. If you're a cryptocurrency advocate like I am, then go ask yourself, is cryptocurrency what's funding Hamas? No, it's the US dollar. Is cryptocurrency what's funding the drug cartels in Mexico and at our southern border or in South America? No, it's the US dollar. But Elizabeth Warren is creating a common foil in cryptocurrency in order to get laws and regulations passed that benefit and support her constituents. Senator Warren's record of fighting for key priorities for Massachusetts families has paid huge dividends, she said. It has resulted in critical federal support for infrastructure and broadband, basic research, a cleaner environment, and dozens of projects to support workers, families, and communities in the Commonwealth. Let me, let me summarize this one more time here so that you guys are not baffled by it. The specific things that she did is a very broad federal support for infrastructure and broadband. Uh, if it's federal, infrastructure and broadband accounted for all 50 states. Do you see? Uh, basic research, a cleaner environment, and dozens of projects to support workers, families, and communities in the Commonwealth. Guys, that's nothing. That's nothing. In eight years, Elizabeth Warren has accomplished nothing. Yet here we sit today with her having a, a pretty decent level of support for um, what she's doing. So why, Massachusetts, are you continuing to do? It's crazy to me. And to me. However, he is going to, and by that I mean John Deaton, fund his own campaign with $500,000 to start. In his 314-page memoir, Food Stamp Warrior, uh, John Deaton details his childhood in a rough Detroit enclave. He writes that he was raped, had a gun pressed to his mouth on the first day of high school, and sold pot in exchange for food stamps for his family. This is an honest person uh, who did things that he's not fond of. So um, he is asking for forgiveness and has wanted to have forgiveness. And what he did is he stuck all of his ghosts, if you will. He, he, he took all of his ghosts and he bears them out for you. Go read his book. I encourage you to read his book. Um, he also may have shot someone. And to this day, he writes, he doesn't know if he did. 
in Deaton's telling, his close friend was killed in a drug-related drive-by shooting. As he was dying, Deaton, then 17, took his friend's gun and opened fire. I kept squeezing the trigger as bullets shot through the car and blasted the back window into shards. I saw a person in the back slump down. I'm still not sure if it's because I hit him or if he ducked. Uh, Deaton writes that years later, I couldn't stop asking myself, did he kill my friend? Did he get hit with a bullet? Did he live or die? After going through a divorce, John Deaton went on a coke-fueled sex bender, according to a memoir, using sites like Plenty of Fish and Sugar Daddy to find partners. He's exposing it all. He's laying himself bare for you to judge, uh, to find partners. Deaton says he would search for women in their mid-20s, decades younger than me. He met his current partner, Christiana, when he hired her as an assistant at his law firm. Within a couple of years of Christy, Christy working for me, uh, they struck up a romance. They've been together for almost nine years and share a five-year-old daughter. After being prescribed opioids following a back surgery, Deaton says he periodically battled dependency on pain pills. Part of what helped Deaton pull, pull himself out of his self-described midlife crisis was discovering crypto. Not discover crypto, but discovering crypto and the online community of digital asset enthusiasts that come with it. Deaton, who has invested in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP, gained notoriety in the crypto world when he battled the SEC's effort to classify XRP as a security as part of a lawsuit against Ripple Labs. Now, guys, I would encourage you to read everything that you can about John Deaton for in the next coming days, weeks, and months. You're going to be hearing a lot about him, but he's laid himself bare for you to judge, not for... Uh, Elizabeth Warren to judge. And what did Elizabeth Warren do when she was presented with this information? Well, Elizabeth Warren, who doesn't want you to use a private plane because of the pollution, is seen right here getting off of her private plane that causes the pollution. Only one of us can be the polluter, and it's got to be her because she's doing the work. Wink, wink. And also, uh, it occurs John Deaton, at this point, has never publicly told anybody that he uh, backs Donald Trump or Make America Great Again movement or anything like that. But apparently, the MAGA Republican machine couldn't find a single Republican in Massachusetts to run against me. So they brought in someone from Rhode Island who will have the backing of the GOP and special interest groups. That is a carefully worded way of her saying MAGA Republican without saying that he is... And this is shady. This is seedy. This is, this is, this is disgusting. This is a sitting U S Senator attacking a Marine veteran and feeling like just associating him without fact, associating him in a sentence without fact with somebody that she knows her constituents do not like is going to get her a little bit more. This much is clear. We're up against national Republicans who are desperate to take back the Senate and pass Trump's agenda. Well, what is Trump's agenda? What is it? What is it that's hurting you? It's nothing. You don't see anything. What you see is lies and deception from Elizabeth Warren, because that's who she is. It's a testament of her character. John Deaton represents a change for the people of Massachusetts. I am not a citizen of Massachusetts. I am a citizen of cryptocurrency. Therefore, I'm going to talk about John Deaton all of the time, and I'm going to wish John Deaton well on his Deaton for Senate campaign, which you can follow at Deaton for Senate. And if you want to go look at, um, at Food Stamp Warrior and read his book and find out who he is and a testament of his character, go for it. You should do that. Uh, and then at the end, we should take down Elizabeth Pocahontas Warren, the person who lied to you, the American people about who she was, who she is, and what her character is. Until then, she's going to be in charge. And she's going to keep taking, and she's going to keep taking, and she's going to keep leeching off of each and every one of us as Americans until such time as we find the time, the effort, and the courage to say no more. That's it. You guys remember who she is, and remember who I am. My name is Bleeds Crypto, and I'm always right. We'll see you again very soon.